All right, good to know. Thanks, Mike. Well, mouth and throat cancers are on the rise, and doctors say tobacco, alcohol, and the HPV virus are often to blame. Melissa Wilson talks to Dr. Colt Riley about a simple way to catch the disease early. Vera Becky is asking me about oral cancer. She's very concerned about it and wants to know how she can get tested because she keeps hearing about all these movie stars who are getting it in their throat and in their mouths. Do you have a suggestion for that? Um, yeah, we do an oral cancer screening at each one of our hygiene appointments. Uh, it's very important to, we try to at least look at these at least once a year, mm -hmm. uh, each time. Why don't you show us how it works? Sure. So it's a blue uh, fluorescent light, and we look at it under a yellow filter. That's why she has the special glasses on. And we're just going to turn out those lights, aren't we? Mm-hmm. So it's real simple. All you got to do is open your mouth and you take a look at the tongue. You go ahead and stick out your tongue at me. And pull it to the side. And then go ahead and... <laughs> Perfect. And lick the roof of your mouth, please. Beautiful. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull your cheeks back. Excuse me. It's not shaking it. And what are you able to see if there were to be cancer? So the fluorescent light picks up basically all of the vasculature. Mm -hmm. And so when there's a cancerous cell, it stimulates more blood flow. And this fluorescent light helps us to pick up on that faster than our naked eyeballs will. And so if someone were to get a diagnosis, that would be pretty shocking at the dentist's office. What happens from there? Are you able to refer them or tell them to go see a specialist immediately? We have pathologists that we work with. Sometimes we'll do a biopsy, which is basically just cut a little slice of it. Or sometimes an aspirational biopsy, we use just a needle to pull some out of it. And we send it to our friends at the UT Dental School and they take a look under it under their microscopes. and. Tell us what they we got. They can tell you what to do. And it, is it pretty prevalent? I mean, are you are you finding it in the dentist's office sometimes? Uh, in the two years I've been here with Spiker, we've only had to send away two different cases. It's very uncommon, but still a really important thing to look for. And the thing is, I think, is a lot of times there aren't any obvious symptoms. So if you don't get checked by your dentist, it might go in, on until it's too late. Yeah, it's definitely important. I, I would recommend at least once a year having an oral cancer screening. Yeah, it seems like it's getting more prevalent all the time. Thanks for your help. Yeah. And if you have a question to ask the doctor, you can reach out to Melissa on her Facebook page or send her a tweet at Melissa Fox 26. Time now.